When you think about brutalism, you think of raw concrete, grey facades, geometrical shapes and almost aggressive looking architecture. And when you think about brutalism, you also think of places like Berlin, Paris, London or the Eastern blocks of Europe like Warsaw or Moscow. What you most likely don't think of is a small town in the middle of nowhere in the west of Germany. And yet, this is where my journey brought me in today's video, including one of the most impressive brutalist buildings I've ever seen that certainly is not what you would expect it to be. First off, hello and welcome back to another video, this time with yet another episode where I photograph brutalist architecture. The subject of interest in this video is probably the most spectacular I've ever photographed so far and it's called Maria Königin des Friedens, or short, the Mariendom of Neviges, a small town with roughly 18,000 inhabitants between Düsseldorf and Wuppertal. And it is in fact a pilgrimage church that is still rather young, being built in 1968. It was designed by Gottfried Böhm, a German architect who was known for his experimental and rather eccentric buildings. I visited my family between Christmas and New Year's and did some research on interesting photo locations in the region and by chance discovered this brutalist gem. Seriously, this is such an impressive church. I think I've never seen a church like that. Bunker. Um, As for the equipment, I used my Leica M10 and brought two lenses with me. My Leica Sumicron 35mm f2, which I ended up only using for a few shots, while my main lens for the day was the TT Artisan 21mm f1.5 lens that TT Artisan has kindly sent me to try out. I've always been interested in a focal length for architecture photography that would be slightly wider than a 28mm lens, but not as wide as the 15mm lens that I already own, so that the 21mm lens was actually perfect for what I had in mind. If you take a look at the Mariendom from the outside, a lot of associations can become apparent. For me personally, it reminds me of an iceberg with those spiky asymmetrical structures. But the architect himself stated that tents were one of the major inspirations for the building, trying to capture the essence of a wandering pilgrim church community, offering shelter to the people who come here. But no matter what you see in the building, there's no doubt that it's very special and very unique, and it also looks rather different depending on the angle from where you approach it. It was a pretty overcast day, which in my opinion complemented the grey concrete pretty nicely and also helped to stick to only monochrome, since I was there right at the end of 2023, when my one year black and white commitment was not over yet. Funny side story, there was actually a competition set up to decide who gets to design the pilgrimage church in Neviges. And even though Böhm, the architect who realized the project in the end, didn't win, the cardinal wanted him to take over the project anyways. The funny thing is though that Cardinal Josef Rings, who in the end made the decision, was already blind at the time, which means that he couldn't even see the final design. He only investigated a model of the building by touch and approved it, which kind of left me wondering if he would have still approved it if he was actually able to see the building. But jokes aside, I personally think the building is fantastic and I really love how unconventional it looks besides being a Catholic church, which usually tend to look a bit more traditional. The 21mm focal length was ideal to photograph this place, to get a lot of the building in the frame, but also incorporate other elements, such as the trees around it. A couple of words about this particular TT Artisan 21mm lens. It's a beast of a lens. 
for one because it's incredible to have such a wide angle lens equipped with such a large aperture which opens up to f1.5 and therefore also opens up a lot of possibilities. But on the other hand it's also a beast because it is a chunky piece of glass that makes the M10 look huge. Just as with the other TT Artisan lens I already own, it also came in a really premium packaging with the need to calibrate it before use. The aperture is really clicky, the focus is buttery smooth and overall the build quality feels really great. I know that some people are rather skeptical when it comes to Chinese lens manufacturers and I can tell you that I was too. But this is already my second TT Artisan lens that positively surprised me in a very good way. And I think that for focal lengths that might not become your main kind of focal length, I think it's really great to have those budget-friendly options available. I didn't pixel peep on the images and did no clinical lab test with this lens, but from what I can see, the image quality looks superb to me. It's sharp and clean with surprisingly little distortion. And what sagst du? It's schon krass, oder? Yeah. Will we go in? When we decided to check out the church from inside, this lens truly saved me. First off, to my surprise, taking photos inside of the church was allowed and all the other visitors were doing so too, which helped me to not feel as disrespectful and blasphemous. The cathedral was absolutely spectacular from the inside, maybe even more impressive than from the outside, but it was also really, really dark. I had to open up the lens to its max aperture, bump up the ISO to 3200 and still shoot with a shutter speed less than 1 30th of a second to get something usable. Therefore, I haven't taken many images inside, but without this lens I probably would have taken none at all. And the few images I've taken capture the specialness of the inside pretty well, in my opinion. Something I found really fascinating was the little model of the church in front of it and I tried playing around with contrasting the two. And just as I thought I had explored every corner of the church, we decided to walk into the town center for a little bit, where I realized that you could still spot the church towering over parts of the town. And here is where it got really interesting in my opinion, because the clash of traditional buildings and full-on brutalism of the church really fascinated me. It wasn't easy to find good spots where both were visible at the same time, but the few spots I found are probably my favorite images of the day. Also, a big thank you to my Patreons who actually helped me to come up with a video idea for this episode. After I received the 21mm lens, I let my Patreons decide which sort of subject or shooting situation they would like to see this lens in action with, and the majority has voted for architectural daylight shots. And thank God that the voting turned out this way, because other options would have been something like architectural nighttime shots or street photography, which I could have lived with, but also something like astrophotography, which without a doubt would have been a little bit out of character for me. So in case you are interested to have a bit more say in what's happening behind the scenes of the channel, take part in regular community hangout sessions, receive physical mail from me and so on, you should definitely check out my Patreon page. After viewing the images I've taken that day, I decided to do something I usually never do, and that is cropping. 
for whatever reason I thought the images might look interesting in a square aspect ratio, which is why I put together a little series of cropped square images. But what do you think? Do you prefer the cropped or the uncropped images? And what is your general take on cropping in photography? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. On a different note, I guess my take from this episode is do your research. The interesting spots are not always where we expect them to be, but sometimes the most impressive brutalist building is just around the corner without you knowing it. All in all, I would say that this was a very fun and very successful day of shooting and I will also make sure to come back to this spot another day, maybe even when it's sunny, to see how light actually behaves on the geometrical shapes of the cathedral. Also, a big thank you to my dad who joined me on this trip and also spontaneously agreed to help me film a little bit. And that being said, I would say thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.